If I didn't have that people in my life who guide me, without them, I don't think I would have ever made it. We've actually got one of those influential people here today. <laughs> I'm very excited to be back again. Soccer it is a brilliant course. What UNICEF does is incredible. Recently made a documentary about my life, and no matter who you are, no child should ever go through that. As a child, I, I struggled when I first came to the UK. Didn't speak much English. I was put into school. And that was tough for me. Um, but again, if I didn't have that people in my life who guide me, my PE teacher who spotted me, took me to a local running club, if the school didn't discover that uh, and that teacher, I don't think I would have ever made it as a runner. What's the chances? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, great to see you. I'm blushing back there. <laughs> what was that like when you first met me? Oh, you, were, you, were, you were a live wire, for sure. Uh, I remember the, the very first lesson. All the children just started in year seven, and that's the time when they really all are behaving themselves. You were still running around when you should have been sitting down. Because you were trying to communicate because you couldn't speak the language, yeah. but um, you just loved PE and sport, and that was, it was great to see. For me, being on the field or being out there in PE, it was being able to just enjoy it and just being you. And again, I just felt like whenever I was out there, I was happy. I think in, in some ways you learn the language through being in, in sport and, and you constantly having to communicate with people. What, what, what do you think life would have been like without it? It's really difficult because again, every child needs something in their life. So if it's just being able to support them, whatever directions they want to go, you just want to kind of keep supporting them and whatever makes them happy. Children that are in your position, you know, is there any sort of advice or guidance that you might might give to them. Believe in yourself and, and secondly listen to your teacher. If someone says you've got the talent, just listen to it and keep working hard and, uh, and believe in yourself. It was always obvious, obvious to me that you know you, you had a, a talent that needed nurturing, needed support. But what was really quite shocking was when you talked about your experience and what you'd been through. That sort of broke my heart in, a little, in, 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 in some ways because I, I wanted to move heaven and earth to try and make things possible for you. As a kid, I could never talk about it. I could never tell anybody else, but I just felt comfortable with you. That passion that you share, what we share in terms of opportunities for children, is, that transcends sports. Sport and, 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 and charities like UNICEF and, and, the, and the Soccer Aid, they just help to create those Absolutely, opportunities, yeah. which, is, um, which is just brilliant. It doesn't matter what language, what religion, what you look like, using sports, it brings everyone together. And I think that's what it's all about.